Good morning, guys. So today um, is December 24th, 2018, and I am making a few tutorials on how I use my Instagram account to promote my products. Um, I have a store called I Love FL Shop. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, in the store, I have quite quite a few designs of my own and I do purchase designs from other artists or designers um, to use on my products so today I'm going to show you how to upload a picture from my computer to my Instagram account on my computer um, and so we're staying away from our iPhones and iPads and since Instagram doesn't have an official app um, for our computers, we're buying and using third party apps to make um, the step possible and efficient. All right, so the first step I take is using any document or work. Uh, what I'm trying to say you can use your notes app um, I'm using pages you can use Microsoft Word any text or document software uh, write down think about all the related hashtags um, you can use up to 30 of them but don't spam because Instagram might shadow ban you for spamming your pictures with a ton of unrelated hashtags. So over here, I've picked out a few that are related um, to the mugs I designed this morning. These are mock-ups, but um, the final product will look very, very close. So that's okay. And um, I've already uploaded a few um, to my Instagram account. Let me show you the programs I'm using, first of all. So for text, um, I'm using Apple's Pages app. And for uploading, I'm using Uploader HD for Instagram. And for viewing and managing my account, I'm using Grids for Instagram, which is a very nice program. There might be others, but these are the ones that I use to manage my account. So let's, um, I've already dragged the picture into the uploader program. And I'm going to copy and paste my hashtags into the text box. And we just simply click on post. It might take a few seconds, depending on your internet connection speed. Um, remind me later. It's asking me to raid their app. Um, all right, so over here in grids, just simply click on You can have quite a few accounts in here. I have my other Slendy Boy account, and um, I have a few other accounts uh, for my auto part business. But anyway, click on the icon to refresh it. And now you see the picture we've just uploaded from the uploader appears in your Instagram account already. And let's do another one. Um, so the third mug should be this blue one. Uh, let's do the left angle view. And let's make this blue instead of white. Remember to think about your hashtags. Um, people might be searching for any topic or any word when they um, when they just uh, browse around in Instagram, and they might find anything they like. Obviously, the the more likes you have. And the more uh, followers you have, the better 
Um, so let's upload this one. Post. Remember to take a few seconds um, between the different posts. So after posting this picture, let it wait 20 or 30 seconds until you do the next one. Otherwise, Instagram might think someone has hacked into the account and um, you might have to reset your passwords, which is very annoying. All right, let's refresh this and now we see it's uploaded and we've already gotten three likes for it let's do the next one which is the center view for this mug um that has the word 2019 on it i like the blue one a lot i don't know if blue is the color for 2019 but um and i like this um, memphis confetti kind of look so we paste our hashtags and click on post again. All right, and for our last one, it's another side view of the word 19 on it. Remember not to click too fast, not to post too fast too often. Um, let it wait a little bit. And now we see the this, uh, we already got, 22 likes for our latest uploads which is pretty cool um, that means our hashtags here are working um, so for whatever the people search we're appearing in the in their searches so over here let me talk about um, my hashtags a little bit so everything I design is for my own store. It's called I Love Florida and um, I Love FL Shop in short. And <clears throat> so we're creating products and we are creator. And so I have one line here just for my store. And down here, um, we're using the big trendy words related to the product so i'm using fashion design style fashionista and trend um, i think these words these hashtags have been used uh, millions of times and over here is the description of my product so it's a 2019 happy new year um here i have i'm using the hashtags separately and together so happy new year and happy new year and new year um the reason is that people might search differently they might type everything everything together as one word uh, people do that it's not grammatically correct but people do that on instagram and it is a celebration and there's confetti, confetti in there and it's the memphis style it's a mug and it is in the color blue. So I've thought about um, everything that's related and let's post again. So we have three more pictures to post for this mug series. And after this, um, we're done with Instagram. We'll go back this um, uploader HD Instagram for, for Instagram app doesn't have the tag for products yet. It has tag for people, but not for products. Since I have my Shopify store linked to my Instagram account, I can actually tag these pictures, uh, which means making a link between the picture and the product in my store. So it makes it very convenient uh, for any follower or fan, for anyone that has found this mug to directly purchase it from uh, my Shopify store. I guess I'll make another video on that later on. For now, let's finish uploading the 12 pictures of the four mugs we've designed. So we're down to the last one.
the black one and make sure you change the word blue to black just did that recopy and paste all right making sure it's the black one post And the second one, the center view. So we're gonna wait um, 10 or 20 seconds and refresh. See, as you can see here, we're getting more likes. Um, as we're uploading the pictures, we're getting more likes, which is pretty cool. People are responding. Um, well, some of these might be bots, but I assume most of them are human and they're actually searching for the words. Um, they could be our followers. We have 7,586 followers right now and we're following uh, 6,631 other accounts and we've posted 350 pictures and um, yeah, so let's upload the second one for the black mug. And we'll prepare the third one. Just leave it there. Remember, don't spam your Instagram account. Um, this uploader HD for Instagram makes it very easy to upload pictures. Um, if you have a lot of pictures to upload, but you know, same thing with hashtags. Um, respect the app, respect the community, and um, don't spam. Don't spam with hashtags and don't spam with a ton of pictures. And so that's the last one. All right, so we're pretty much done with um, uploading the 12 pictures. As you can see here, um, let's check out the first one and see how people have reacted to it. So the first one, we've already got six likes and one comment. Uh, this is great picture by this account. And we just got 14 more likes, uh, which is very nice. Some some pictures um, might go up to the hundreds if they're popular, but for the purpose of today, we're pretty much done showing us um, showing you guys how to upload a picture and manage your account from your computer. So let me just go over everything uh, from the beginning. I use. The app pages, uh, which is free from Apple. I like this better than um, Microsoft Word. And sometimes I do use the Notes app, um, but I'm not going to open it today since I have more um, personal stuff in there. And um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you this um, pages. And then we have our pictures ready in the folder, make sure everything's organized. And we have the uploader HD program for Instagram to upload the pictures. And um, we can view everything from the grids for Instagram app. Let me just refresh it. I think we just got a few more likes, which is pretty nice. All right, so that's it today for this tutorial. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys um, enjoy my tutorials. Click on um, subscribe and please comment if you have any questions. I'm going to link everything I've used um, in the text box below. This is the first one. Um, I'm sure there will be a ton of tutorials coming in the near future. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.